It's September 27th. It's um, like 440, 77 degrees. It might rain here in the next hour. I said 100% chance. It looks kind of sunny to me. I don't see any clouds, but we'll wait and see. Spring kind of wind. I don't like it. I miss the heat already. But the heat I have is this. We got some Air Zoom Diamond Elite Turfs, size 13. And these are a great color, or color way, actually. So, pull these out. Um, I got them for, yeah, let's pull them out first. Stop messing around. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That wasn't my best throw. All right, so let's get this. Hey, we got to tilt down, damn it. I didn't get the Agassiz. All the other, there's all these resellers and these people that do shoe reviews. I'm not one of them. I don't know how they get their shoes. They must got connections. I don't have any. So I bought these at Shields and I used my own money, but they were on sale. <laughs> oh my God, wait till you hear how much I got them for. I got these for 40 six dollars they were 45.99 on sale i just i you know because they clear out they have great sales they they all their seasonal stuff when they put it on sale they want it out of the store so it'll sit one week at one price and if it doesn't move then they get it they get it again so if you're shopping go on their website you know if you don't have one in your neighborhood or the, in your area and pick some stuff up because it's on their website too. So anyway, these are like, this is like the Miami colors, you know, get jiggy with it. Um, they are turfs. They're like three quarter ish, good padded collar. Um, these were, were these zoom? Yeah, they, these are zoom all the way through. Um, they're not like the Epic React. So this is like it's zoom through the entire um, mid, or is it just mid, zoom in the mid maybe. Might be just zoom in the mid, and this might be just like, um, let's see if it says anything else. I'll have to look that up and get back to that. I I miss. I may not, I don't want to say it's zoom all the way through, but it's cushiony. And they're comfortable when you put them on, too. That's what, what I like. Um, these were, I was going to use these to play, um, but I, I can't play till next next spring. So this will just be a daily wear kind of thing. You know, with like winter coming up, I don't, I don't even care. I don't even care if they're messed up. I'll wear them to the gym because <clears throat> that way I don't slip on the ice. But I don't mind wearing turf shoes if they look good. And these do. So, like, the white isn't completely. What is this? Oh, that's from the table. So, the white isn't all completely white, like ivory white. It's more of a dull white, which is cool. I like that. The tongue. What's is the tongue? Uh, okay, so the tongue isn't gusseted, so it will move around on you, so it's laced through, so it doesn't do that, so that's nice. <clears throat> the um, You have this functional, non-functional strap. Yeah, it doesn't tighten, so it's just for looks. And the same, the you know, the SC Trainer is like that, too. That, that doesn't tighten either. I mean, you could probably get it over a little bit more on the Velcro if you pushed it in like that, but see what it does? It dips that, so... So this isn't mesh either. You can hear it. This is like a hard material. Like it's it's like it, uh, if you feel, even even if you feel it on the inside of the shoe, it's like it's not webbing, but it's like a like a hard piece of construction that is feels like they it almost feels like they painted over it, but it's not paint. Though, it, but if you've ever felt like a shoe that you've painted on. You know, like let's say you had a pair of white chucks and you're artistic and you, or whatever shoe, some vans, and you decided to do your own artwork on it, and then you touch the surface after that. That's what it feels like. So, um, let's look at the heels. Heels, which is on Netflix now, as a matter of fact, um, looks good. You know, there's no enforced heel cup, uh, so it's just a very, it's a, it's a. It's not overly, it's not a crazy light shoe because you need a little bit of stability if it's going to be a turf. It's obviously, it's not turf for like what we have on our fields out here, uh, uh, green grass and 
the dirt on the inside. It's more made for, um, you know, if you play the, the when the when the pros play on fake surfaces and the dirt and, and, and you know uh, for that or they're just their warm ups you know scenario. But I've seen several guys out here that play softball wear this shoe in a different color, the, the, the black and the white one or the all white one. This color, it didn't, I don't think it sold very well because people didn't know how to match this. But I, you know me, I'm a bright color kind of shoe guy. So this works perfect for me. And I love that green bottom. That is, that's awesome. Let's look at the toes really quick. So the toes aren't anything special. They are just reinforced like a normal running shoe. But like I said, this part here, you know, um, it doesn't, it's not super stretchy. So you're gonna, it, it's gonna be like a basketball shoe and there might have to be a little bit of break in to get used to it. Um, they do fit the true to size. The, uh, my toe was here. And like I said, they're not a very wide shoe, but I don't have a very wide foot, so that works perfect. Um, there is a little bit of a, an Achilles, um, dent or river or you know like pat you know, like paddock <laughs> that's a, a Jurassic Park <laughs> you know, like that please say the Tyrannosaurus Rex paddock is still off <laughs> but um no I mean they're they're just a fun good turf baseball shoe so you know um you're not gonna be able to find them there, I, I went and looked in their their baseball shoes the other day again to see if I could get another pair to sell. They, they didn't have any. So the next shoes that are going to be like seasonal are going to be, um, you know, like baseball cleats not, versus turf are, are, are going on sale. Some runners are going on sale there right now because um, they're trying to move it, other colors out, you know, like and, and new stuff in. What, what, what would be another one that's, that I saw on sale over there? Um, some basketball. Basketball will, will eventually, basketball will hit hard here, but then you'll see some sale prices. So that'd be something to look for. But, yeah, definitely stop by another time. So I'm excited to wear these as a daily shoe for a while until I decide to get rid of them. But they look fun and, you know, definitely uh, a great kind of workout shoe too because if you work if you have a, if you go to a gym that has like turf that has functional training like sleds and medicine ball or kettlebell um you know stuff that you do you know battle ropes stuff that you do on turf woohoo right there buddy perfect for that box jumps would be amazing for this because they would grip or they might make you fall <laughs> i can see a scenario where you get to you get the lip and the, and the shoe doesn't scoot forward enough for you because it catches one of these little nodules. And then you just go take a, a, a fierce tumble. <laughs> so that could be a positive and a negative for the box jumps, but everything else would be fine. So, all right, guys, we'll keep it short and go from there. Like I said, these are the Nike Air Zoom Diamond, Tur Diamond Elite Turf. We're white, black, and pure platinum with pink. And it's a beautiful looking turf. And, you know, I was lucky enough to get it on sale. So you try to find yourself some, maybe on eBay or secondhand or uh, another store and see if you can find a pair on sale. All right, till the next shoe. See you.